Welcome back. Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Algebra. I'm your host, Mr. Takeda, and I'm going to teach you some algebra right now. This is lesson 5.6 from the Big Ideas textbook, redone for the year 2021, because I just caught a big mistake in my previous video. The question, how do you graph a linear equality in two variables? We've already done um, graphing systems of equations, right? Well, let me back up. We've uh, graphed um, equations in two variables. We get those, you know, linear uh, lines. We get those lines. How do you do inequalities? Well, that's an interesting question. So let's take a look. But first, before we do that, the first thing we want to do is look at some examples. How do we know if an ordered pair is a solution? Okay. Well, just like before, we're going to substitute our x and y values into a given inequality and check to see whether or not we have a true statement. I've substituted negative 1 in for x, 9 in for y. I simplify. Negative, uh, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. And 7 is not uh, less than negative 3. So this is a false statement. So that tells me that negative 1, 9 is not a solution. In example B, uh, x is 2, y is negative 2, so x is 2 minus 3 times negative 2. That's greater than or equal to 8. Following the order of operations, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. So I have 8 is greater than or equal to 8. Uh, it is not, 8 is not greater than 8, but it is certainly equal to 8. So this is a true statement. And that tells me that 2, negative 2, is a solution. Okay, so there's that. Um, and uh, next, let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at what this looks like on a graph. Okay, so when we graph a linear quality in two variables, we get this shaded area. So first of all, we get this boundary line. This boundary line is x e uh, y is equal to 2 times x. has a minus of 0, a slope of 2. But we're concerned with this, this part, the inequality. Well, where, where is y less than 2x? Well, if 2x, 2 times x is the line, the y values increase as they go up, they decrease as they go down. So below that line is where y is less than 2x. If I had y is less than or equal to 2x, this boundary line would be a solid line. Since it's only less than 2x, this is our boundary, but does not include these points, we use a dashed line for that. Uh, let's read this. The boundary line divides the coordinate plane into two half planes. The shaded half plane is the graph of y is less than 2x. So we're going to be shading... We may be like cross-hatching some. Um, I don't know if you've taken art with Mrs. Stukin, but we do cross-hatching to show shading uh, sometimes. Okay, so let's take a look at an example here. Y is less than or equal to 2 in a coordinate plane. Okay, so where is Y equal to 2? Well, we know in a coordinate plane, that's going to be a horizontal line. So let me draw the horizontal line. So this is y is equal to 2. But where is y less than 2? That's going to be below here. So I'm going to do some cross-hatching here. So it looks a little, you know, kind of not fancy. But that's how we'll do shading is by cross-hatching. Okay, so this is y is less than or equal to 2. Again, the equal to 2 is that solid line. Okay, so there's example 2. Let's look at another example here. And this is graphing a linear equality in two variables. So in this case here, negative x plus 2y is greater than 2. Uh, let me rewrite it here. We want to solve for 
we want to solve for y like we were solving for a linear equation so we can graph using slope-intercept form. We kind of pretend that the inequality sign is like a um, equal sign for our boundary. So I'm going to add x to both sides. So 2y is greater than x plus 2. Divide everything by 2. Now remember, when we divide by a negative number, we have to reverse the inequality symbol. But that's not the case here. So y is greater than 1 half x plus 1. Okay. So where's my y-intercept at 1? My slope is positive 1 half, so positive 1 up, positive 2 to the right. This is a dashed line, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a dashed line in here um, as my boundary here. Let me do this. So like this and like uh, this. And I want y to be greater than this, and y, that means I'm above the line. And I know it looks like I'm doing a, slip, a sloppy job, and I kind of am because I don't have, I'm doing this electronically. And I know you're going to want to do a nicer job than this when you do your homework. Okay? So that's it. That's um, our condensed lesson here. That's uh, my three examples. And uh, thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.